こんにちは、さとこです。Welcome back to my Easy Japanese lesson. Today, I'm finally back home in Toronto and I get to do today's lesson with my big whiteboard. I really miss this. <laughs> so let's get started. And today's lesson is Hisashiburi. Hisashiburi. It means long time no see in a casual way. Okay, so、um, let's do the pronunciation first. So, Hisashiburi. So, the first he, it says hi, but we pronounce he as in he's the man, the he. And sashi as in sashimi. s Sashi. Do you know what sashimi is? That's sliced raw fish. That's a Japanese delicacy. I love them. And buri is similar to burritos, buri. However, we don't have our sound in Japanese, right? So we pronounce it like L. So, buri, okay? Hisashi buri. Hisashi buri. Okay? So now we're gonna break it down. Hisashi, it means after a long time. And buri, it means first time. So, hisashi buri, it means after a long time, first time. Therefore, long time no see. <laughs> so, this buri, we can use it in a different sentence. So, if you want to say, it's been a year, we said, ichi nen buri. Ichi means one, right? And nen, do you remember shin nen? So, that's new year. That nen means year. Buri, and that's first time. So, One year, first time. Therefore, it's been a long i t s been a year. Ichi nen buri. That's what that means. And if you want to say it's been two years, how do you say it? So you just have to change it to two, which is ni, right? Ni nen buri. It means it's been two years. You got it, right? So now, you can add dane or dayone after hisashiburi. So, what it does is kind of gives the、uh, nuance of right or isn't it? So, if you say, Hisashiburi da ne, so it means long time no see, isn't it? Or right, and Hisashiburi da yo ne, so it's, it's the same. Hisashiburi da ne, Hisashiburi da yo ne. And this ne is the words that kind of gives you right or isn't it? So, you, if you say, Hisashiburi da without ne, or Hisashiburi da yo, it kind of means long time no see indeed. So, it is a, it's been a long time. That's kind of how it sounds. So, the ne is an important part. <laughs> Hisashiburi da ne, Hisashiburi da yo ne. So, now, to make it politer, all you have to do is to add o at the beginning. Do you remember if you add o in front of a Japanese word, it becomes politer, right? So, this is still、uh, semi casual, okay? So, it's not kind of, it's not completely formal. It's still just polite. So, o hisashiburi, you could say that. However, I don't know why. <laughs> just with this sentence,、um, it might sound feminine. So, I wouldn't recommend male using o hisashiburi as、um, just a kind of semi casual way. Alright? So now we're gonna make it to make it formal. All you have to do is to add des at the end. And, but this case though,、um, if you say o hisashiburi des, it's completely fine. It doesn't sound feminine. Again, I have no idea why. It's just a, my feeling as a native Japanese speaker. Okay? So if, you, if you're going to add des, I highly recommend adding o at the beginning. And of course, it's no wrong to say hisashiburi des, but o hisashiburi des sounds more you know, politer and formal. Okay, so here's an、um, example. So, conversation between A and B in a casual way, let's say between friends. A would say, Hisashiburi, long time no see. Genki, remember, that means, how's it going? How are you? And B would say, Un, Genki. And so, this Un 
it means yes in a casual way, right? Why is she saying un? Because genki, it's a, actually a yes no question. It literally means are you good? Are you fine? That's that a little translation. That's why she's saying un. Genki means I'm good. And hisashiburi dane. So hisashiburi, long time no see, dane. We just learned this. This dane means isn't it? All right. So she just say, Hisashiburi dane. It's been a long time. Long time no see, isn't it? So that's how the conversation goes. Now, the formal way, you know, uh, to your clients or your boss. So A would say, O hisashiburi desu. Remember, there is O there and des at the end. And so that's a polite way. O hisashiburi desu. Long time no see. And B would say, Hai, o hisashiburi desu ne. And although this is not a yes no question, it's kind of nice to say hi to me <laughs> for some reason. And that means indeed, I think that's how, you know, it sounds like. And o hisashiburi means long time no see. Desu ne. And so there is ne at the end. O hisashiburi desu ne. So this ne would make it friendlier even um, when it's a um, formal way. So it uh, gives you the friendlier and then also um, more like indeed sort of way of saying it. So o hisashiburi desu ne. And it's still a formal way of saying it. So this is a conversation um, in a formal way. All right, so today's lesson was hisashiburi. Thank you for watching guys. Domo arigatou gozaimashita. If you still have them, please subscribe. And if you like, please press the like button. Arigatou. And I'll see you guys on our next lesson. Jane. Bye bye.